What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and more Victory at Sea coverage here. We're wrapping up our little look through the additional rules section and we're going to finish that off today with barrage balloons. So, um, first little paragraph is basically just kind of an explanation of what they actually were. And then uh, as far as rules go, it's pretty simple here. So, um, basically some scenarios call for the use of barrage balloons and a barrage balloon can be represented either by a model or with a counter. Um, I don't think they have any actual models yet uh, in that scale, at least not from Warlord. Um, but uh, no flight may move within two inches of a barrage balloon except for level bombers, which fly too high to be affected by them. But basically um, what they were is just uh, sort of relatively low lying balloons that um, were there with all the, basically they were tethered and everything. And so there's the, between the balloons and the cables, um, just a, you know, a, a, a large number of them could make it difficult for lower level attack aircraft, dive bombers and stuff like that to uh, effectively uh, go after targets and things like that. So it's kind of what these are representing here. Um, and yeah, basically just, you know, the chance of either colliding with the balloon itself or with any of the cables would just, you know, wreck a plane going um, at speed, of course. Um, so that was basically the historical usage there. And like we said, um, pretty simple in the game. Um, so it's a nice way to um, sort of enforce or create a bit of a no-fly zone there to, to keep uh, some planes away. But, um, you know, um, ultimately that is um, just one thing uh, that you have there. So um, the, the uh, smart opponent will, of course, find ways to potentially counter that or get you into a position where um, the balloons won't be uh, as effective there. So, um, and obviously to benefit from the, uh, the, the cover that these essentially provide that kind of requires you to kind of stay in that area. So once you leave that, um, obviously the balloons aren't going to be uh, effective anymore. So just different things to consider there, but um, a fun little um, inclusion of the game here, the historic element, uh, would be nice to see the um, some models that represent that. Um, I don't think, again, I don't think we have anything um, uh, on the release schedule yet for those. I could be wrong, but um, hopefully we'll get something in, at some point there. Otherwise, in the meantime, you can always use little tokens. Um, but yeah, that basically wraps up the additional rules, guys. So a lot of it is related to basically either fighting at night or in bad weather and ways to mitigate that with things like searchlights, star shells, radar, advanced radar, things like that, but also the squadron rules here, torpedo nets for um, uh, sort of... Uh, providing some measure of protection against torpedo runs, whether it's, you know, planes, subs, um, destroyers, etc., And then these barrage balloons are just a way to basically then sort of provide some defense against uh, enemy squadrons, um, in addition to other things that you might have. So, um, so that basically wraps things up, guys. Let us know if you've been using barrage balloons in any of your scenarios and how that's been working for you or not working. Be interested to hear from you guys. Um, so hit us up in the comments there. Leave a subscribe if you guys could as well. Um, that helps keep the channel growing. And then um, check out the link in the description too if you do want to support the channel a little bit more. If you guys head over to Warlord there, um, that will... Uh, come back and help support the channel there if you guys pick anything up. So we do appreciate everybody who's been doing that. Hope you guys enjoyed our little look here at the Barrage Balloons and then the additional rules uh, in general. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care.